I would like to comment briefly in reply to the statements made by Governor Patrick and President Obama regarding this case. It is noteworthy that both qualified their statements by saying that they did not have all the facts. Usually, when one hears those words, one would expect the, words, the next words will be, so I cannot comment. Instead, both officials, both admitted friends of Professor Gates, proceeded to insult the handling of this case by the Cambridge Police Department. President Obama said that the actions of the CPD were stupid and linked the event to a history of, history of racial profiling in America. The facts of this case suggest that the president used the right adjective but directed it to the wrong party. His remarks were obviously misdirected but made worse yet by a suggestion that somehow this case should remind us of a history of racial abuse by law enforcement. Whatever may be the history, the supervisors and the patrol officers of the Cambridge Police Department deeply resent the implication and reject any suggestion that in this case or any other case they have allowed a person's race to direct their activities. However, we hope that they will reflect upon their past comments and apologize to the men and women of the Cambridge Police Department. I am here to put full support behind Sergeant Crowley's actions. I've known Sergeant Crowley for 11 years of his career here. Uh, he's done a marvelous job, and uh, for this to happen to him was wrong. Uh, Cambridge Police are not stupid. I am proud to represent the officers of the Cambridge Police Department. It is a great department. I think everybody that knows us knows that. Uh, I'm a third generation Cambridge police officer, my family, and uh, I'm very proud to be a police officer. And I think if you ask any of the officers in Cambridge, they'll tell you they're proud to be here. As far as the president's comments, the governor's comments, and comments that I did not hear that our mayor made, uh, I think when the time is right, they should make an apology to us. I think the president should make an apology to all law enforcement personnel throughout the entire country who took offense to this.